Welcome back to Sound Water Technologies. Today I'd like to share with you the Cypress ultrasonic clamp-on flow meter. This is our flow meter we designed in 2018 for long-term or permanent flow monitoring applications. This is a clamp-on ultrasonic flow meter, meaning you install it outside the pipe and it uses ultrasound to sense the flow moving inside the pipe without contacting the fluid. This is a great product for installing in applications where the pipe already exists because you do not need to modify the pipe to install it. Or when there's a human safety or hazardous material aspect of the fluid inside the pipe and you don't want to contact it. But instead of talking about it, let's go install it so you can see how it works. So we're going to mount our Cypress ultrasonic flow meter on this 8 inch pipe. And while we're doing this in our studio, we're indoors, we install these meters and have designed them to operate outside all the time in long-term and permanent flow applications. The electronics, which are enclosed in this white plastic housing, are sealed up with a silicon encapsulant, as well as a gasket that seals off the housing itself. All the wires inside the flow meter connecting to the transducers are double O-ring sealed, so this is commonly put outside in rain and snow and sun and continues to operate for long periods of time. Uh, for now, we're going to work inside our shop here and work on this 8-inch pipe. This particular model of Cypress works from 2 inches up to 10 inches in diameter. There are many different models of the Cypress family that work for a range of pipe sizes. You'll have to call us to find out what model might work best for you. For now, we're going to install this meter on this pipe, and I'll say we'll install it about here. And you'll notice it attaches itself to the pipe. There are magnets in the bottom and top of this pipe to make installation just a little easier and faster for you. Although that does mean the magnets, of course, will only work on steel pipe or some pipe that is ferrous. So the next thing we'll do is attach the hose clamp to mount the meter permanently. All of our flow meters ship with everything you need to install and operate them, including two hose clamps. We're going to install the hose clamps, one at the bottom and one at the top, through the half inch slots. To do this, you'll just need a socket wrench. You may end up with a little extra slack in your hose clamp. And to make things look nice, just go ahead and stuff it back into the slot. Okay, let's do the top. Now, the next thing we'll do is attach power. And then finally, we'll connect to the Cypress with our mobile app to set it up and start measuring flow. Connecting power is pretty easy. There is a connector at the top of the flow meter, which is a type M12 circular connector. It has an O-ring seal, and your product will ship with a cable that fits that connector. So we're simply going to plug in the connector to your flow meter, and then we'll route this cable to your power supply. To set up our flow meter, I'm going to use the Orcus flow meter app, which is freely downloadable from either the Apple Store or Google Play. I've got an iPhone, I downloaded the app from the Apple Store, it's free, and I've launched it. The first screen that we see is what we call the devices list, and showing me all of the sound water devices in this area. I'm going to connect with this Cypress flow meter, so I'm going to simply select it from a list, and now we're communicating with the flow meter. At this point, I'm going to just run through setup so you can see how easy it is to get a measurement. For more detailed instructions, I encourage you to watch our other videos on our YouTube channel. To set up this flow meter, all I have to do is tell it what pipe size it is. And in the setup menus on our app, there's really easy drop-down menus showing all the types of pipes that you may encounter. You simply pick them. The size, again, drop-down menus. This is an 8-inch. And the wall classification, 
which defines a wall thickness. Again, drop down menu, uh, this is a standard pipe. So done. It's that easy to set up and define the pipe. Now, at the bottom of the setup screen, is giving me what we call the transducer spacing. This is 4.08 inches. The transducer spacing is the distance that you need to set the movable transducer on the ruler. There's a ruler that's imprinted on the top of every product, of Soundwater's product. And all I have to do is slide the transducer to 4.08 inches, lock it into place, and then turn these tall skinny knobs to press the transducers down onto the pipe. And the reason for this is because there are two transducers here. One is transmitting ultrasound into the pipe. It bounces off the backside, and the ultrasound comes back to the surface right here. So we need to position the second transducer at the right spot where the ultrasound is hitting the top of the pipe so it can receive it and make a flow measurement. So now I'm done with setup. I've installed my transducers properly, and we are now attempting to measure flow. And there we go. We're getting a flow measurement. For more information about Soundwater products, check out soundwatertech.com. Or for more instructional videos, check out our YouTube channel. We'll see you next time.